Well, that was insane. What you just saw was Open World Games fan Oliver Perkovich base in defense mode as Raiders try to take it over the carnage. That's right, you know what time it is. It's time to showcase the best settlement builds in the wasteland as we explore everything from Red Rocket Hotels to marketplaces to one of the most well thought out settlements on the irradiated frontier. Hey everyone, it's Robbie with Open World Games and yes, you can submit your settlements to fallout 4 creations at gmail.com. Don't have a settlement? Don't worry about it. Send in your glitches, character creations, funny moments, and more. But guys, without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 list right now. So this one is really cool. It's a bit messy, I will admit, but I love this entrance. As we enter, we can see that trade is alive and well here. Ish91 has made sure to make everyone feel welcome by offering some homely interiors as well. And he's got his own vertebrate noise. Moving on to number 9, we've got The Market by Savage Patty, who shows off what you can do to reinvigorate the wasteland economy. I have never seen anyone use their space like this, so this was really cool to see. Settlers would automatically be attracted to such a space because of its offerings. What a unique build indeed. And at number 8, we've got Dog Tag Central, who builds a monumental treehouse with a tribute to Paris. I really, really admire that touch, by the way. As we tour the area, we can see just how well lit up this place is at nighttime. We all know this isn't easy to do at all. Inside the interior is extremely welcoming, by the way. And Piper seems to be chilling, taking a break off reporting on her wasteland findings. Minutemen, we're calling you, or at least Mr. Drum Machine is. He's built up his fortress around the Minutemen and even has a little recruitment office. He's done a fantastic job with defense and trade, so he hasn't missed a beat there. Trade seems to be alive and well. He says he wanted to build this to be functional, which is obviously working very well here. And man, this dude is organized. And at number 6, we've got the appropriately called Castle Build by Lag Station 3, who shows off what you can do with the interiors. Now, I wish we had a video showcasing this, but this is the type of living space I'd embrace in the wasteland. He's even got cars right there in the innards of his base. Reminds me so much of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I don't know if you guys remember that. Hopefully, one of the cars doesn't actually roll away, but he's also expertly place some mood lighting around so it'll be easy to catch the lady. The eating area is also very welcoming and it appears his settlers are very well taken care of. Oh, they're so loved. Best break room ever. He also has a chillaxing area to watch TV which overlooks the surrounding area. This one is so freaking cool. Getting up off the ground is a fantastic idea to survive any raid, so why not build up on the freeway. Almighty need 
shows us the ultimate defense of building high up. Just look at his turret placement here. Absolutely perfect. And as we go inside, we can see just how much power this place requires. But as we keep climbing, we can see the interiors flesh out a little bit more into a nice living space with a view. Just don't fall to your death. And then number four, Swifty Loves You gives us an honorable tribute to the Red Rocket gas station with what I am calling liftoff. It almost looks like this rocket is about to take off into the sky with the platform built up around it. That is so cool. I love that touch. It reminds me so much of Apollo 13 for some reason. This is one of the coolest wood-based settlement builds I have ever seen, by the way. Plus, we've got a good deal of crops to support our hungry settlers and don't forget those interiors, they are also well crafted, not too crowded either. Almighty Need is back, showing off how inviting you can make a Red Rocket Hotel. This is awesome. While it may not look like much from the outside, as you enter Red Rocket, you are greeted by one of the most well thought out interiors I've seen in quite some time. The light boxes make this place feel high, high class. This is definitely a place where you can chillax, grab a drink, chill, and have some fun. At number two, Welcome to the 1-Up Tower by Richard Fayat. He's done a hilariously good job displaying his personality by using light boxes. So here we go. As we enter, we are greeted by a nice living space with an area to hang out and chill. As we go upstairs, we can see this is his display area for his power armor and workbenches. This is where things get serious, I assure you. As we continue to climb, we find our sleeping quarters and more areas to chill and relax. But I really do love this.
And at number one, we can see some of the best organization skills ever in all of the wasteland. This is probably one of the best thought out settlements that you will see. Plus, this settlement makes great use of the light boxes. It actually organizes them so you understand what's going on. Uh, this guy known as John Davidson went all out on his creation here. He has organized his entire community by ammunition dump, bar, the shop, and the cap cafe. So you really can't get lost. There's no excuse. It's just brilliant. So there you guys have the top 10 settlements of the week. Remember to submit your settlements here uh, to fallout4creations at gmail.com. I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. And don't forget to include your funny moments, glitches, whatever you have, character creations. I'm so curious to see what you guys have made with Fallout 4. Thank you so much for liking this video, sharing it, and watching. And stay tuned for more Fallout 4 and open world gaming goodness. And I will see you in the wasteland. See you guys later.